don't spill it. You have a good to eat it. Why you want to open it? Are you going to eat? No. <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? Check out this seafood grill, y'all, that we're eating over here. It's about halfway. <laughs> it's about halfway eating up now. This man eats so fast. <laughs> but it is good. Okay, and while y'all in here, go so ahead you and give your girl a like. You like. So it's a seafood grill oh, at Spices Restaurant. All the spices across the UAE. We're on the Carnice right now. Charge them. And it comes with two liters of mocktails. You can choose any two flavors you want. You okay, Zach? It's good, y'all. It's so good. Watch, baby. <laughs> a watch going off. Can't stop it. Sorry. Sorry. Press check. Sorry. Yeah. Check. Uh, Press. Uh, for the moment, I think it's fine. Some what? You ask if you need anything. We need some to open these crabs. Oh, you know how to open a crab? Uh -uh. Daddy, um, don't move that. What are these called? Blue crabs? I'll take this. I'm getting it in because come January 1st, I'm starting 75 hard. Ooh, I ain't never really seen the inside of crabs until now. I don't know if I should have looked at it. <laughs> but this part of the crab. I'm used to crab legs. You know, I like my snow crab. Drink here? This one. No, 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 huh? no. You want to drink? Look at this. Juicy. Let's see. Ooh, I don't know. I don't. I should not look at it. Cause now I don't want to eat it. Really. Now, am I supposed to eat that part? I don't know. Later. <laughs> oh, today I had mussels for the first time. Is this a mussel? Yeah. These things right here. They cook. I don't eat nothing raw. I eat smoked salmon. Um, salmon. That's about as close to raw as it gets for me. Go ahead. Yeah. Well seasoned. You hear me? It is well seasoned. All right. Got 44 people that popped in here. While you popping in here, go ahead and pop a girl a light before you pop out. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, giggles and laughs. <laughs> mm. mm. Kind of sweet, a little spicy kick. So we got the um, raging Cajun flavor. You guys favorite flavor? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Later, maybe we we'll go to the boat, okay? Where are you going? Where we going? Right now, we're eating. We're eating, baby. And we can go to the beach? Yeah, we can go to the beach. No, so what's up? Are y'all seafood lovers or what? <laughs> I think for 75 hard for the uh, month of January, we're giving up all fried foods. Candy, sodas, and breads. And then when February hit, I think I'm gonna give up all meat. I think. Or maybe I'll just do um seafood. In March, I'll give up um all no. meat. I'm it shouldn't be too hard. I'm really a chicken girl. I eat chicken more than anything else. What's up, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? I'm kind of 
I'm getting used to this going live thing. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, we don't have no spoons. So I guess after I finish with the clam, I just use this as my spoon. Now this is good. It's spicy, spicy. But it's not. It's not as good as back home, but it's good, you know. Careful. Careful. I'm gonna drink it. Hmm? Drink it. Okay. Uh-oh. What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? What's up, Thank you. Girl? Are you popping in? Give your girl a like you like, please. Where are you guys? I don't mind giving myself a like. I'm gonna leave by example. <laughs> Oh my goodness, my phone overheating and it might kick me out the live. My phone's overheating. Hold on. Yeah. I need to drink some of my drink. I need to I'm to drink also hmm? drink. Oh. You gonna tell them to wait? Hold on, wait a minute. Come see Jackie Jay. What up, what up, what up? Ah, uh, yeah, we need this one. Yes. <laughs> the bugs away. Look at my shirt. Thank you. Zaki, you're fine. Uh, thank you. Nice. I totally forgot we ordered french fries. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. What's Mommy. up, y'all? Mom is so fast. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, do you have something that we can pop this thing open with? Yeah. Okay, thank you. That's it. It's so fast to do it. Huh? It's too fast to do it. Yeah. We picked the kid up from nursery early today, but he had already had lunch at school, so he's yeah, not hungry. Young seafood. So we just got him something for now. We'll take it home. He'll have it for dinner. I really didn't need that. I just popped this thing open myself with my hands. Huh? Mommy, it's hot. Uh-huh. Seafood boil. It's my first time visiting this place. Apparently they have them all across the UAE. Well charge in Dubai for sure. So, we used to eat crawfish and just suck the head. I stopped eating all that stuff though. <laughs> I don't eat crawfish anymore, but. I'm about to stop eating crab. I never was a girl to suck the head though. I ain't gonna do all that. I just pulled the meat out the tail. I'm good. Zachy, stop. I'm seeing it. I ain't sucking no, I feel like Thank you. you. Thank you. I feel like you're um, sucking careful. the brains out and stuff. Ah, I ain't into that. <laughs> Y'all want to see the food? Let me see if I can show you. 
you done ate all the corn. Huh? You ate all the corn. No. That's not corn. What you mean corn? Corn is that. Ah. I ate one. I ate, ate one corn. There are only two. It was only three. No, there are only two. No, you already ate that one. Okay. It's okay. You can have okay. it. Half, half, half. I didn't uh, cheat. Half, half. I didn't cheat. Don't give me a half eaten corn. Yeah. Well, he done ate a third of it. He done ate two thirds of it. Because, because the half of the three is, is, is a, how much? One and a half. Okay, so you have now a half one. Okay, cool beans. I'm going to get this sauce. We're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, be careful. Zach, don't drink all my, all my mojito. Okay? It's okay. You can have some, okay? It's virgin, by the way. Drink some of Papa's. Uh, drink some of Papa's he drink. He don't like mine. <laughs> What's up, y'all? See 170 y'all up in here? 116 of y'all up in here? Mm. Hit the like. Nice. Hit it a time or two for your girl. Oh. It's the most people I've had. <laughs> how, how many in your life? Right now, 140. 140 in your life? It's different for me. I just started this whole live thing. I'm trying to get comfortable. I, to myself. <laughs> I think y'all like to see people eating. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. I come here and eat all the time. You're amazing. You have 140. I like it. Okay, this is ketchup. You want me to? We can eat and talk. I see this man of mine. He gave me a half eaten corn on the top. <laughs> I appreciate it though. I ain't gonna lie, this is my first time eating rice with my hold up, did we eat rice? Y'all eat rice with uh, with your hands in your country? Yeah. Yeah. I just got used to eating rice with my That's hands. So since I live abroad now. I could use a little salt and pepper and butter though. <laughs> Let me get some of this seasoning on this rice and see, see if that makes a difference. Not talking, okay? If, if we eat, we don't talk. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Uh-uh, speak English. 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 Uh-uh, speak you no, want me to speak English? You can talk to your people. He's um, live. He speaks. Um, what language are you just speaking? Arabic or French? Arabic, Hassania, French. He mixes it up. He speaks like seven languages. So my goal this year, 2024, is to learn how to speak Arabic and French fluently. I can read French. Jackie, but I can't don't speak eat ketchup it. like that. Who did it? Don't do that. Put your, use your French fries, baby. Dip your French fries in your ketchup, okay? My kid has an obsession with ketchup. He just want to eat ketchup by itself. Is that normal? I mean, I like ketchup, but not by itself. It's a side. It's not a main dish. <laughs> Damn it. it ain't even a side. It's a sauce. Here, eat some, yeah, eat some more of that. You want another clam? Yeah. I'm full. I'm full. You full? Because... I was not talking, I was just eating, and you talk and you eat. I eat slow anyway. I mean, I eat fast. You know that. Look at that seasoning, y'all see that? I can't see no comments, I don't know if anybody coming. If you're still here and you like seafood boils, let me know, just say yes in the comments. Okay, Mississippi showing love, what up, what up? Mississippi, Mississippi girl all the way in Dubai. You can take the girl out the country, but you can't take the country out the girl. <laughs> Thank you. I see some yeses in the comments. I don't know why I just looked at this um, clam because I now I don't want to eat it. <laughs> I have to close my, close my eyes on this one. Who's that? Harold. Who else was that from Mississippi? Let's see here. Appreciate you. Okay, Triple A. 
Appreciate you. Yes, indeed. From Mississippi to the UAE. We come home in the summertime, though. But 2024, we're probably not going to come home in the summertime. We're probably, our goal is to wait until Christmas because my son has never spent Christmas in America. You know, he was born in Dubai. And How was that? we only visit in the summertime. I was about to eat tissue. <laughs> <laughs> What this do? But my mom wants him to be home for um for Christmas at least once, you know. And so next year we're gonna skip summer and come home for Christmas. That's the plan. And I appreciate y'all for joining us. This not even use it. Uh -huh. It's a rock. He gave us a rock to break the shell. I didn't know that. This is what they use to break the shell. I've been breaking it with my hands, to be honest with you. But not the um, legs. So I'm gonna see if it work on the legs. Yep, perfect. That worked perfectly. It's for the, the fly. It sure helped the, those bugs. Yeah. <laughs> then there were six. We went from 200 to six. Five. <laughs> Eat a lot, bro. You eat so fast. I'm done. You done? Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Let me show y'all what this dude did. Hold on. He always eats so dog on fast. I'll turn this thing around. Here we go. Look at him. He done demolished all of this. When I made him, he never ate crab nothing. No lobster. Why nothing? When? When did you eat? I, we have a lot of this, but I don't like it. Yeah, that's what I said. You but weren't if, eating if, it. If you say eat nothing, it's him like I don't have something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> but we have it a lot, but we throw it. We give. You don't eat it. We, we think it's like it's a scorpion and those kind of things. It kind of so. is like a scorpion. So we don't eat it. For us, it's disgusting. But now you eat them. Now you tan them up. Yeah. Wow. I kiss you and then... Uh, what are you trying to compare me to a crab? No, I mean you. Whatever you eat. Okay. As I'm your husband, mm -hmm. I will be affect, like it will affect me like okay, the way we are. Okay. Yeah. You make that better. Uh huh. So, <laughs> only alcohol, I don't drink. Yeah, he doesn't drink alcohol. He don't drink alcohol. It's okay. You can leave it up to me. Mommy, no more no drink Baggidos. Mommy. Okay, Echo. <laughs> okay. Hey, boss lady. That's a rarity. Ain't it a rarity? They say it's rare that you don't um, drink alcohol. But you know, he grew up in um, Arabic Leave slash me alone. Muslim country where it's, it's outlawed. It's not allowed at all. So in his country, it's very normal. In his culture, he just, you know, he left, he moved to Dubai. Well, he moved to Abu Dhabi. I moved to Dubai, where we met. And so, he just never let the outside influences influence him. He has no interest. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, where are you from? Who is this? Chips and salsa, where are you from? Ooh, 
the sun is sunning. <laughs> I'm full. You full? I bet you are. Done. Washington State, dope. Washington State is on my list of places to visit. Once I relocate back to America, I want to make sure I hit every all all the states. And Washington has been on my mind for a while. You know, everyone always thinks Washington. They think Washington D.C. Oh, you said unfortunately the outside influences have affected you. <laughs> oh, it happens, right? It happens to the best of us. Mommy, it's lemon juice. Yeah. I said that's lemon juice. Mm -mm. That's passion fruit. That's lemon juice. That's lemon juice? Yeah. That's, that's lemon juice? Yeah, this one lemon juice. It's my lemon <laughs> juice. Mommy, what's this? Hmm? What's this? It's passion fruit juice, baby. I like passion fruit. I see you keep drinking it. Who is this? Um, uh, 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 Say, have you asked Jesus to come into your heart as your savior? If you need help, call upon him, your name, Jesus. This is not a religious, um, lie. What is it? Miss Auntie. Hmm? I feel like she's saying we need Jesus. <laughs> that is wild. Allah, it's good to let her in the sun. I'm going to take a look at the sun. I'm going to take a look at the sun. I'm going to take a look at the sun. I'm going to take a look at the sun. Please, no hateful comments. <laughs> so, what you said? That is rude. What you said? Huh? What you said? Basically, have you asked Jesus to come into your life? I think that's rude. Not rude. Like people, they just speak through their, what they believe, what they yeah, know. Yeah, but, but they don't make it right. Yeah. Just like when you're on live and people are trying to tell me that I need to be a Muslim, that's rude. It's fine, but like uh, the um, for them, for example, they they uh, they believe. Uh, if they are Christian, they will always like inviting people to be a Christian, right? Hmm? Inviting people nah, to be a Christian. you invite people that you know. Yeah, we got crabs, uh, Maddie. We have crabs. We got crabs, we got shrimp. We got clams, we got corn. finished though. What long got the acid? I know, right? First time you meet them, people are gonna think you're crazy. <laughs> you know, like get to know a person first before you ask those questions. <laughs> At least say hi. <laughs> I know some people think it's like normal. But I don't think that's normal. Okay, I'm getting full now. Zach, you did not took y'all. They got some barbecue over here that's so good. Zach, can I have some of your barbecue chicken? I just want one. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. I tell you, this barbecue chicken so good. Me too. Me too. Alhamdulillah. He doesn't even want to try it. Yeah. It's so good. I'm scared to tell my husband to try it. He's gonna eat all of it. <laughs> I want to eat all of it. Alhamdulillah. La vie, ça continue, gars. Okay. It's good. Not done. My boy did not eat nothing, so we're gonna save the rest of it for his dinner. Not done. Not done. What do you do? Donc, mashallah, can. Sweet spice, sweet Cajun. Thank you, chips and sauce. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate that. It's about respect, you know. I am so stuffed. I think we're all gonna go home and take a nap after this. You okay, Zach? It's okay. You sleepy? Yeah. Boys, three. He um, he still takes his naps and stuff. It's his nap time. So he's a little agitated with us right now. <laughs> All right, y'all. I think I'm about to log off. Uh oh, we got 40 people up here. Y'all, this is the most people I've ever had up in a live. <laughs> Shoot, the most. In my life, I'm gonna have to start making a list of stuff to talk about. Give me some ideas. <laughs> okay, let me just give you a little background since we got 40 some people up in here about me. Born and raised in Mississippi. After my master's degree, I went to school. Um, I'm from Princess, Mississippi. I went to school in Jackson, Mississippi. Relocated to Atlanta. I lived in Atlanta for six years. And then I moved here to Dubai. I'm in Dubai. Someone says, where are you? I'm in Dubai. I'm at a restaurant called Spices Seafood Grill. But we live in Dubai now. I moved here like 2017. I met my husband 2019. We got married. You okay? So I count my secrets. <laughs> my kid was born during the, the pandemic, so he's a, a pandemic kid. I'm going to show y'all the water from. I'm about done eating. I don't want to get too full, but let me show y'all. Um, we're actually on the Corniche right now. This is our view from our table. Nice view. Right now we're actually on the Charger Carniche. We've never been down here, so we decided to just kind of come and have lunch down here. It was actually an accident. We thought we were going to the um, Spices Seafood Grill in Dubai, but I wasn't paying attention up to the GPS in. I just put in Spices Seafood Grill and it brought us to this one. You gotta really behave. I mean, 
a lot of stuff you see in the media is like exaggerated <laughs> you know it's like I live my life just as I did when I was in America but I wasn't living a wild crazy life I wasn't doing silly stuff you know you just want to be respectful of the culture for sure and you know you can't do indecent things that you might get away with back home just don't be indecent but I was a very you know decent person when I was in America so I had no problem I don't have to cover or anything like that as you can see people may have you believing that you have to cover everything up I'm a whole lady out here I got all my hair out I have this long sleeve on today simply because it was a little chilly this morning and quite foggy so I thought it would be cold but it's not but yeah just respect the culture at the end of the day you'll be fine yeah nice feel I think we're about done here so these are the um, the drinks we got two two liters yeah this is the passion fruit and the other one is like a um, lemon and mint mojito but they're virgin uh oh because it is two o'clock in the afternoon here it's PDA frowned upon if you're in a tourist area you're fine but even in some non-tourist areas I mean you're not gonna see people kissing <laughs> no we're not doing all that but you can definitely like walk down the streets hold a hand yes boo? okay, okay. <laughs> you know you can hold hands you know might give a little peck on the cheek or something but you're not gonna see people just kissing or nothing like that so yes, technically it is frowned upon, but little stuff is, especially in Dubai, in tourist areas, nobody's gonna really bother you as long as you're not doing anything wild. Now you go out to the clubs and stuff and you're doing too much. Um, you know how we dance in the clubs in America. Nah, you're getting a little too close. You know, security gonna tell you come back that thing or, or wait for him. <laughs> Get away with that at private parties. So like, go to like a beach club or something. They ain't gonna take good. They're not gonna tolerate that too much. Ooh, I gotta get my nails done. I'm just not seeing my nails done. that thing up away. But I tell people all the time, I mean, it's a vibe. I, I enjoy living here. That's why I've been here for almost seven years now. Um, it's very safe country. Nothing is 100% safe. Nowhere is 100% safe. But I'd rather be in a country where there's a 10% chance versus a 90% chance or 70% chance. So I love the safety of it all. We go to the mall, I go to a park. I feel very comfortable letting my kids just run around and play. Of course, I'm always keeping my eyes on him because I'm a mother. But for the most part, I feel very comfortable. Very family-oriented place. When I go to the mall, there's parking for families. I appreciate that. Okay. There are buses and trains. You know, like the metro trains or whatever. And they have like special seating for women and children. And those areas are, are usually the cleanest. It's always been the cleanest. In my case, I've never seen where it's not clean. My first cop got here went to get my driver's license. They had a <laughs> they had a separate place for women to go. I accidentally walked into the men's place and I was like, because it was like, it was very busy and it was no, 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 the cleanest. But they directed me to the women's section and they bad. It was like heaven. It was clean. They were serving tea and coffee. I was like, yes, baby. It's okay. It's okay. I was like, yes. Thank you. So those are just some of the things I really enjoy about living here so far. I mean, there are other things too.
Now, what I don't like is that, you know, my son gets ready to go to school. He has to go to private school, so that means I have to pay. Because we're not, you know, local here. I'm here for work. So when it's time for him to go to school, I'm going to have some decisions to make. Do we want to go home and go back to school? Or do I want to do, like, homeschooling? Or do I want to send him to the private school? But they can be a bit pricey. So that's just something we have to consider. He's only three now. His birthday's in September. So we got two more years before he starts school. Thank you for sending me roses. <laughs> it was my husband. He did that. <laughs> Alright y'all. Hey, hey kid, did you spit? No. Alright, sir. Oh, yeah. right, sir. I, I call my son kid. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Better off homeschooling public schools. Don't teach our children anything anymore. Dang, I see it. I see it, y'all. I be y'all on social media. All my social media is American for the most part. So I see what's going on in there. It does make me a bit nervous. And I am an educator. I have a degree in education, so I can do it up to a certain grade level. Right, Z? You want mommy to teach you? Yeah? Or hire a teacher or something. You want mommy to teach you? Because he might not listen to mommy. <laughs> the school system gets better because really it's not just America where it's, they're having these issues. It's a worldwide issue when it comes to the schools and shortage of teachers. Y'all, this is like a worldwide problem right now. I know sometimes as Americans, we're in America, we don't realize some of the things happening outside of the country. But being outside of the country, I get to see it from a different perspective. And baby, it's not just us. I don't know what it is. Maybe we should increase teacher salaries. <laughs> then we can attract more quality teachers and change some of these rules in these schools too. These kids and this behavior and stuff. It's a little wild. Especially when I was in America and I was on. Teaching is just like, it's very difficult. I'll say that for another conversation. I don't want to get too much into that right now. <laughs> I'll say that for another day, another meal. How long we been live, y'all? Anyway, follow the girl on YouTube. I got a, my whole story is over there on YouTube. L underscore just living. My whole story as far as why I left America. How I met my husband. We got married. We met and got married within three months. Oh, I bet high school is difficult. I never taught high school. I taught, uh, shoot, I taught a lot of things. I taught elementary school. I taught pre-K. I taught middle school, but never high school. I bet it is difficult because they're Mm, I always thought middle school was difficult. But nowadays, I see all the stuff on the social media was happening in the, in the high schools. It's just too much power. The kids got a lot of power. <laughs> they had a lot of audacity. <laughs> they have a lot of audacity. Where did my family go? They're going down to the Parnish. I think I'm done here. I'm just going to drink my drink. I'm going to drink Papa's drink. Because this rice needs some salt. <laughs> All 
right, y'all. Okay. We have to do this again sometime. What time is it? Two o'clock. So that's a good time to go live. Sorry, two. It's two fifteen in the afternoon where I am. Where I am. So that puts it like depends on what country you're in. <laughs> In what part of the country you're in? What time is it where you are? Let me see. If you're in Mississippi, then let me guess. The time is like four or five o'clock in the morning. I want to say. Oh, 515 in Jersey. What's up, Jeremy? So that means it, it's 415 in the morning in Mississippi. Dang, what y'all doing up this early? <laughs> Getting ready for work. I'm in the UAE. I mean, I live in Dubai. I'm actually meeting up with some friends. What's today? Today's Thursday. Saturday, I'm meeting up with some friends. Um, mostly Americans. It's a lot of us over here, guys. Like, it's a lot of us that live here. I might go live while I'm there. We're going camping in the desert. Hmm? Oh, you talking about the girls that came being ratchet and found out um i don't know what happened with that are you talking about the girl that was at the car place see they're not gonna tell y'all the whole story because anybody just i'm gonna leave it alone they're not gonna tell y'all the whole story when they get over there they're gonna make it seem like they didn't do that i ain't never had that issue just my personal experience Raising your voice and you go to jail. I don't know about all that now. And defending in defense of yourself. No. Don't come attacking me for not believing it. I'm just saying. If the loss was like that, I wouldn't be here for seven years.
our holiday weekend is starting now. <laughs> Peace.